Hey guys, Dan Heilman here. We are back with another Awaken Chaos Era video. I just want to go through the progress I've done on my account, what I worked on first, and what I am working on going forward. So, all right, it is basically day two. Um, we had all day yesterday where it was open, uh, depending on time zone, obviously, but day one. So I went through and I literally just cleared adventure as far as I could. I did have some money rolling over from clan boss or sorry, CB, CBT closed beta test, not clan boss. Uh, and basically that helped me get my first unit. I guess I should look at, I should show you guys my units first. So I got really good pulls to start out. I got a Zatlox, I got a Hydrissia, and I got a lot of other good units here that I've worked on building up. So... I didn't have these day one. Um, I guess at the end of day one, I finally got my first six star uh, using some of the packs I had from closed beta test. Um, I was going back and forth between Zatlox and Hydrissia. I don't know. Zatlox is really good. I never got to mess around with them, so I kind of wanted to try them out. Um, I got some other... You can see I got lots of elite units here that I've leveled up. I got three elite units, all really good units. Joseph, Connor, Zachary... Um, Zachary's not quite performing like he was in closed beta test. I'm not sure if they change him. I have really bad gear on him, so it's probably that's what's going on. But, uh, yeah. So, Zatlux has my best gear on him. I did upgrade these boots because they rolled into crit rate and their speed main stat. So, decent little boots there. The set you get for $1 is, is quite amazing for the price. I mean... If you can afford one dollar, I would absolutely buy the kit uh, that that one with Antinua. So very great set there. Highly recommend. Gear is hard to get in this game. It's hard to get. It's hard to level up. Um, it's a little bit easier to level up now since it's not closed beta test. But okay, let's just talk about what I've done so far. So I went into adventure very first thing and I cleared as far as I could. Um, I just today, just this morning, got up into chapter ten. Um, but basically I went as far as I could in normal campaign in the adventure mode and then I swapped over to hard and I again went as far as I could. So in hard, I was able to make it all the way up to almost done with chapter 7. I'm going to start clearing that some more. So that was the very first thing I did. This unlocks gear pieces. There's lots of good gear pieces that you get from adventure mode and you get glyphs. Glyphs are really good. Let me go show you glyphs. Um, I forgot to mention them in my beginner guide that I just put out yesterday, but glyphs are very important. So I just started getting basically everyone I'm using up to glyph level three. Uh, basically how it works is you unlock these glyphs and each one gives you different stats here. And then once you get all of these upgraded, you upgrade to the next level. So you can see here, these are all the stats I get from the glyphs. So it's pretty decent. I mean, these are solid stats, and once you get these maxed out, um, glyph level six, then you really get some nice, some nice stats from them. So I started working on glyphs, and I worked on skills. So yesterday was all the blue skills. So I went through and I skilled up all my units. Um, I farmed pretty hard in there. I didn't finish William off. I need two more for him. Oh, I actually have two. So let me show you how it works. Oh, you do. Did you hit upgrade? Um, and it goes through and it picks one randomly. Obviously, I can only put them into the second one here because the rest are already maxed out. So, yeah. There you go. Now William is fully skilled up. At least. Oh, yeah. So now I stop here. Another good note. <laughs> you see how I stopped here? I'm not going to put any more in him because this is just damage. Um, eventually, I might put it in. But right now, I don't. I don't really need that. So, he's good to go. Joseph, I got fully skilled up as well. This is a very good unit for Ash Magisteria. He he removes debuffs, so he can remove that bomb. And he has it on a two-turn cooldown. And it grants him a bonus turn whenever it's successful. So it's really like a one-turn cooldown. So he's really good at removing the, um, the bomb from Ash Magisteria. Very good unit. Um, as far as blue units, I also skilled up Abbott. I'm going to mess around with him. I didn't get to play with him too much in closed beta test, so I might mess around with him. Okay, so I did skills, I did glyphs, I upgraded a little bit of gear, and I got my units leveled up, and I worked on adventure mode. That was my day one. All I did was work on adventure mode. Um, I did work on some of these quests as well. You can see I started going through here and clearing these out. Um, I'm trying to finish these all so that I can start doing this here. You know, these are not retroactive, so you want to work on these here. I worked on foodie quests pretty hard. I'm level 20 here. For the foodie quest, 
I just need to get one more unit to tier two glyphs, which I'm working on right now. I haven't really been doing much in arena and I really have not been doing much in dungeons. I left dungeons till later because you really don't want to spend hours farming, you know, stage three because you're not going to get anything. You're only going to get two star gear. So I did do some stages on stage five I can do because it at least gives you a chance to do four star gear. So I wouldn't really farm until you get to like stage five. So that's why I've been focusing on building up my team before I do gear dungeons. Okay, I don't want this video to be too long. I just kind of wanted to show you what's going on with my account, what I've been focusing on, and what I'm going to work on now. So today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into no man's land. Today, we got green units. So I'm going to go skill up all my green units today. That's what I'm going to do. Skill up all my green units. Um, and then I'm going to start working on gear dungeons. Eventually, I'll start working on Void Tower as well. Um, also, don't forget to do your bounty hunts every day. So go through and do your bounty hunts. Uh, you get Foodie. Again, use Foodie as a five-star pumpkin. Do not use Foodie for anything else. He is cheaper to level up than other units. So use him as food. That's why his name's Foodie. One note about gear. Be careful leveling up gear. You don't get a lot of gear. And you don't get a lot of gear charms. So if you get pieces of gear... Um, let me show you one example. For example, this piece here. You know, I started rolling into this, and I rolled all focus. And that would be okay, you know, depending on the unit. But I was hoping for something like crit rate. But my point is, is don't just upgrade your gear all the way. If you get bad rolls, stop rolling into it, you know? Like this piece here, I got some crit and I got some precision. If I would have rolled two or three times into flat health, I would have never upgraded this piece anymore be careful you don't get a lot of charms it's very expensive especially things like amulets and rings um this amulet for example it's attack percent which is good as what you want but i rolled attack and defense so i'm probably not going to roll this piece up anymore if i would have rolled at least once into crit then maybe i would have rolled it up some more but i don't want to max this out when it's flat stats like that remember and be careful with main stat okay so this is percent attack that's good if you are curious what rolls in each slot this is how you do it go into the gear manager so when you're in gear here click the gear manager if you highlight in main stat so let's go to boots if you highlight this main stat you can see what rolls you cannot roll crit rate boots you cannot roll crit damage but you can roll flat attack attack percent flat health health percent speed and defense percent so 90% of the time, you want speed boots. Either that or you want attack percent boots. But other than that, you really don't want any of these other ones. So rings. You want crit rate rings. Almost all the time, you want crit rate rings. Um, if you have really high crit rate, then you can go crit damage. Um, for amulets, they removed crit damage from amulets. In the closed beta test, you used to be able to have crit damage. That was the only thing anyone used. Now it's only attack percent, which is kind of annoying. Damage dealers are going to want attack percent and, um, you know, either health percent or defense percent if you're trying to keep your unit alive. Just wanted to throw that in there about gear. Do not upgrade bad gear. All right. Okay. I don't want the video to be too long. Just want to talk about what I'm doing on the account here, what I've done so far, and what I'm going to work on going forward. So hope you enjoyed the video. Just a couple quick tips, what to work on. Go down there, hit the like button, sub to the channel if you're not already, and have a great day, everyone.